What up everybody, Dre Baldwin, Dre all day. This is another video in the Ask the Expert series. I told y'all we was doing this series where you post your questions, you'll leave it in the comments of this video if you want. My trainer, Maria Sonoscali, is gonna come on here. She's gonna address your questions about your body and about your training for your sport. Now she's not a basketball person, but she's a training certified strength and conditioning coach. Got a ton of certifications, like a list of certifications. It's crazy. She knows her stuff. She wrote the Ultimate Athlete Program at HoopHandbook.com. She wrote the Position of Power. She wrote the Week 52 Program, those of you who know about that program. And a lot of y'all ask me, how did I get in the shape that I got in? How do I get my body to be in that? How do I get my physique to look the way that it does? How do I get in shape, conditioning, strength, power, agility, lateral movement, all of that stuff? It came from working with her. And y'all have seen the videos. I see the pictures where we working out on my Instagram and all that. It came from working with this woman. She's about to come on, address the next question in the series. So listen up, work on your game, and learn how you can work on your game better by taking her advice. Maria, you up. Dreyallday.com Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a strength and conditioning coach, a kinesiologist, personal trainer, freelance writer, and I have been in the fitness industry for over 20 years. I have had the pleasure to train Dre all day to make him the best athlete he can possibly be on and off the court. And he has asked me to answer some questions to make you guys out there the best athletes that you can be. One of the questions that he have one of the questions he has given me is what is the most important muscle I need for jumping higher? And there's not one specific important muscle that you need because your body works as a whole. But if I could narrow it down to two muscles, I would say your glutes and hamstrings. These muscles work together to get the power to get you off the ground and up in the air to jump higher. Uh, some exercises that you can do to train these muscles are single leg balance because you want to work your glute med and minimus, the underlying closer muscles towards the bone that will help uh, strengthen you and give you that pushing power. Um, single leg work, any type of things that you do on one side of the body. Um, another type of exercise would be just jumping off of one foot, uh, touching the floor and then jumping up into a knee high jump, stepping up onto a box with one leg. Uh, hamstring strength, um, any type of hamstring curls, lunges, squats, jump squats, any type of jumping type plyometric movements that will help train your hamstrings, your glutes at the same time. Laying on the floor and putting an exercise stability ball underneath your heels and doing hamstring curls as you lift your hips up into the air. That's a great uh, hamstring drill. You can also do that with single leg. So these are some ideas of things and ways of how you can train your glutes and hamstrings to help you jump higher. You can get out there and check out my website. It's groovysweat.com. I have different exercise videos for purchase. They're short, simple, not really simple, they're pretty challenging, but they maximize your body in a short amount of time to get real results. Uh, that's on my website. I also have um, the ability to train via Skype or uh, FaceTime. So if you're interested in personal training or doing any type of training via the internet, I can do that. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel and that's Groovy Sweat. I have short uh, clips of different exercises that you can view. I filmed a lot of them around the world, so there are some that are a little silly. However, the movement itself is actually really challenging if you try it. Uh, these movements will give you some ideas on how to train your body efficiently, work on your height, uh, jump height, and hamstring and glute strength as well. So as Dre would always say, get out there and work on your game. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you follow all my top content up here. Follow me on all your favorite social networks right over here and make sure you are subscribed to catch all the new content I put on on this channel every single day. Work on your game.